Hey, what's up guys? Good morning and welcome back to the show. We just showed up for day two of the framing and came down the road and our trusses were sitting there waiting to get dropped, so that's awesome. We got them back in down the driveway. It's a little tricky. Uh, you know, ground is definitely soft, but we made it back here. We're gonna go ahead and drop them. Those are some big trusses. It has been a while. I think last summer when we did the Dream Shop, those were 72 wide, but it's just been a long time. So I'm pretty excited to get these up in the air. We're gonna try to do it with the skid loader. That's gonna be tricky. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna work. So we're gonna get these unloaded, they're gonna drop them, and uh, just not a lot of room here. So I'm hoping that uh, everything works out. Everything always works out. It's just a matter of, you know, how much effort you gotta put in to make it work. So hopefully everything works out in an efficient manner. Check this out. You can see here where these, this angle iron goes all the way back. He can move his axles to really jackknife the trailer. That's how he got it into this tight spot because it was pretty tough. So now what he's gonna do is gonna raise the trailer up and that'll kind of get it to tilt and then this has got a big roller bed on the top and they're just gonna slide right off. Look at those things, man, they're huge. Pretty sweet this time around. I had my truss guy run uprights where every column is gonna be. It's gonna give us a nice place to nail. So by having those uprights on that outside truss, it's gonna allow us to nail it right to the column. It's gonna be nice, I think. It was a nice little ad that I had my truss manufacturer do. Um, and maybe that'll make more sense once we install them and you can see that they line up with all of our columns. Greg, are those safety toed? Yeah, they're steel toe. Nice, dude. We're gonna get our concrete blocks unloaded and we're gonna get them set in the back so that we can uh, we can make sure we get chained down to these guys when we start putting our trusses up. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'll go ahead, you raise it up just enough. You don't have to go crazy, and I'll drive out of here. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Now what our goal is going to be, we just went ahead and we got this back first section up. But we're going to leave this other section, and that's the bigger section. we got four columns on that section, and we've got three on this one. And what we're hoping to do is we're going to get our corner columns, um, we're going to get them fastened in, and then what we're going to try to do is put the end truss up on this end wall only fastening it to our corners and then these first three posts, which is almost to the center point. So that fourth column is the center point. And once we've done that, then we will stand up this other wall. And the reason being is you can see all these trees behind us. I can't come around the job site with my skid loader and put that truss up from the outside. I gotta do it from the inside. But without having my telehandler here, just using the Kubota, I don't have that kind of reach. I'm not even sure what kind of capabilities that Cheyenne Teleboom is gonna have with that Kubota and these large trusses. 60 wide is the biggest I've ever done, and it did handle that, but um, I guess time will tell. We'll see how it goes, and you guys are gonna stick around for it, so keep your fingers crossed. Oh no, leave yours down, leave yours down. We'll, we'll use the wall that, we'll stand it up, and then we'll just lift it up, okay? Now, you got it, you got it. You gonna hold it? Okay, it's all you. Ah. Two, three. Okay, nice. We got that corner locked in. Now we're gonna come over to this other corner. We're gonna stand that column up. Greg's just wrapping up doing uh, purlins, getting those trusses marked. So once we get this corner stood up and installed, we should be able to try this uh, truss. We'll probably, I'm assuming we'll probably get this all prepped and ready and then we'll come back after lunch and we'll start standing stuff and see how it goes. Definitely anxious. All right. Wait, this one's heavier. Oh, maybe I just don't have you yet. 
one second. And okay, we're past it. It's all you for a sec. Got it? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, hold it. Okay, man, are you ready? Yep. One, two. Okay. Got it on. What am I catching on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm catching something, dude. Oh my god, no one cut this board. I'm gonna blame that one on Greg. I don't know. I just feel like that's appropriate. He's not over here. Okay, man, we're gonna get down. Alright, don't die on me, okay? Okay, spin it. Keep going as much as you can. Keep going, man. A little more if you got it. Just keep spinning. All right. Now it shouldn't be so gosh darn hard. Right. Now it shouldn't go anywhere. Yeah. We'll grab the level and uh, I'm going to throw these boards on. All right. Back corner post column. That is done. If you can't tell, still rocking this man cold. It's been, uh, it's been kind of... I've been struggling with it for about four days now, and I keep thinking it's better, but every morning I wake up and it's worse, so I don't know. Thankfully, I haven't had to stay home and sit in my bed and have my wife take care of me. I've been able to still come to work, but uh, we're ready. We got those trusses all straightened out. Greg got that done. He got them marked, so when we come back from lunch, we're going to throw up that last or the first truss on the far end. We'll get that locked down, and I'm going to try to do a video here on this build showing you guys how, you know, how we um, use the chains, utilize them to both you know, secure the building from a structural side and to level out, plumb out, make everything perfect so that we can put our steel diaphragm on. Do we have any 18 foot together? Two 16s together, maybe? No, I think just an 18 will probably. A 2x6. We have 2x6 18s. Yes, they're all in the building. Oh, yeah, back wall? Yep. Okay, I need an impact with a T25. That's probably in the building also. Well, I'll just grab one. Uh, one of them. Some other stupid. Freaking shirt. That's a big freaking truss, man. Man, that was a little hairy. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do these other two ply trusses with the with the skid loader. Um, we're gonna get this one nailed off, and then I guess we're gonna give it a try. You don't know until you try. We got it, so it's a big one. I can't wait till we get this truss uh, set up. It's really gonna define the building. Okay, so we've got this block in. You can see the concrete block right out here, and that's what we're chaining 
right now the, the last column that we've got built it's not the peak column that's the ideal column that we want to chain back but we're gonna go ahead and stand this last wall section up now that we have the truss in place we'll get everything fastened nailed off and then from there we're gonna spend a lot of time bracing getting the building locked down and as straight and plumb and strong as possible before we start coming out with trusses now you can just get into it start whipping out trusses and you're gonna feel great but then when something's wrong it's gonna take a lot of work to get things straight if you can straighten the building now as you build out it will be straight when you finish versus getting to the end and having to move and twist and pull and just it's a pain in the butt so I'm telling you if you ever gonna do a large truss building do as much work on this first truss as possible. Get it as straight, square, plumb, all that good stuff. Then start working. Working, that's what I gotta do right now. Well, I guess I got out of here too quick today because I didn't even pull my camera out to do a little ending video saying what we did, what we accomplished, but clearly we had a great day. We got that end wall up. We got that large end truss up, which was a huge undertaking. It was nerve wracking. It definitely kind of pushed the barrier we'd never done before, which was to use the skid loader. Uh, and you can see we've got all those chains up. So we've got that wall really locked down. I know people always kind of question whether or not we have these things braced. You can see the concrete block there, but that's kind of beside the point. We'll go over that in a future video maybe. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging around, spending time with us, and hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And hopefully if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. But I'm gonna get out of here. You guys have a good one. And I'm gonna leave you with this epically straight end wall. Now make sure you turn that bell on because I'm going to be putting up a daily video vlog of this build and it's going to be awesome so you don't want to miss out. We'll see you guys tomorrow.